Yeah, let's have a round of applause for the band. I want to start by recognizing Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb and his staff, uh, Chief Safety Director Kerry Howard and the Public Safety Administration, our public safety partners, Cleveland Police and EMS, members of Cleveland City Council, including Blaine Griffin and Mike Polensic, Cuyahoga County Executive Chris Ronane, and any other elected officials present today, thank you for coming out to share this day with us. I also want to recognize members of the Western Reserve Fire Museum, particularly historian Paul Nelson. Uh, they provided much of the history and uh, perspective that will be presented today. Uh, and the Collision Bend Brewery, General Manager Michael Grano, and my friend Brewmaster Luke Purcell, who always comes through with the brew. And we will have our commemorative Aft the Breeze uh, red ales available for sale afterwards and also active and retired Cleveland firefighters. You know, today reminds me of a day in uh, 1997 when I was finishing the F Cleveland Fire Training Academy and we were given our first moves. And uh, it is part of our apprenticeship, Cleveland firefighters go through three moves and I was told that my first stop would be engine two. And as a first generation Cleveland firefighter, I said, where is engine two? And they told me it was on the river down at Station 21, uh, which I thought was a, a pretty cool place to start my career. And that day I met some of my co-workers who would be my mentors, who remain my friends. And I've never forgotten that when I was new on this job, I was welcome. They showed me around the station that would be my first Cleveland Fire home. And that's when I saw the fireboat Anthony J. Celebrezzi. To be a Cleveland firefighter is to be a part of a long, proud history. It says right on our patches, 1863, 160 years of service, and each of us play our small role in that legacy. How lucky I was to start at Fire Station 21, built in 1924, but moved back 600 feet in 1939 to make room for the expansion of the Collision Bend section of the Cuyahoga River under then Cleveland Safety Director Elliot Ness to step onto a fire tug in service since 1961 was to feel a part of history. Today we bid farewell to Engine 21, the Anthony J. Celebrezzi, while honoring the contributions of its namesake and his family. Retirements are always bittersweet. And we welcome Marine 21, the new fireboat Garrett A. Morgan, the future of Cleveland Fire's maritime firefighting and rescue operations named for a man whose legacy hangs above busy intersections as stoplights and on our fire trucks as self-contained breathing apparatus. It's my honor at this time to introduce Cleveland Fire Chief Anthony Luke, who will make presentations to the Celebrezzi and Morgan families before decommissioning Engine 21 and commissioning Marine 21. Ladies and gentlemen, Fire Chief Anthony Luke. Good morning, everyone. As Lieutenant Norman said, I'm Anthony Luke, current fire chief of the Cleveland Division of Fire. I would like to thank you all for taking time today to share this important moment with us. Today, we are celebrating legacy and family. We honor one legacy of service that has endured over six decades and another legacy of service that is just beginning. We celebrate two families that embody a spirit of public service that is at the core of our values. The fire broke celebrities have served this community since 1961. Like her namesake, the Honorable Anthony J. Celebrezzi, she has remained in public service throughout her lifetime, protecting and improving the lives of the citizens of the city and visitors to the region. As in all things, though, change marches on. Over those decades, the fire service and its mission has changed dramatically in breadth and scope. With an expanded mission comes a need for new tools and equipment that can support the modern fire service agency. So today, the Cleveland Division of Fire takes a bold step forward into the future. The Celebrezzi Fireboat has as its namesake an icon and pillar of the Cleveland community, Anthony J. Celebrezzi. Anthony J. Celebrezzi's biography leads like a best-selling fictional novel, a lifetime of public service to the country and his community. He excelled at every level of government. He took on challenges that many said could not be done and was successful. 
I am ashamed at this point to admit that while conducting research for this event, I wasn't educated fully on the importance of Anthony J. Celebrezzi's life and his contributions to the Cleveland community and how it intertwined into the very fabric of this city. It became quite evident why the fire department of the 1960s desired to have his name emblazoned on the side of this vessel. Anthony J. Celebrezzi has numerous landmarks, buildings, and other community sites that bear his name in honor of his life. It is my extreme honor on behalf of the citizens of the city of Cleveland to express our sincere appreciation to the Celebrezzi family for allowing us to borrow a little of your family's legacy over these six decades. Even though the chapter of this fire of the fireboat Celebrezzi's operation is coming to a close, it will never be forgotten. Its service and its service of and the service of its namesake will forever be remembered and celebrated within the Cleveland community and amongst the ranks of the Division of Fire members. As a small token of our appreciation to the Celebrezzi family, and on behalf of Mayor Justin Bibb and Chief Director of Public Safety Kerry Howard, I would like to present this portrait of the of the Anthony J. Celebrezzi at Fire Station 21 along the banks of the Cuyahoga River. Does that come up? In addition, we also have a collage that was put together by the Department of Public Safety. With some historical pictures of the Anthony J. Celebrezzi uh, his picture and the signatures of the mayor of the city of Cleveland and safety director, Kerry Howard. Sir. So uh, good morning. Um, my name's Tony Celebrezzi. As you can figure, I'm, I'm 3.0 uh, with, uh, with my grandfather. And uh, he always, the boat was, was one of his pride and joys. Um, he, I, I heard him multiple times when he was on the bench. He would uh, have some fun with the other judges and always ask them, do you have your name on a boat? Because he was very proud of his, his connection with the city and with the fire department and this, uh, this beautiful city uh, so anyhow so he he was he was very proud of uh of being part of this city he loved this city with all his soul and uh, just uh had a blast i still remember have been a couple of a couple of moons ago when i was in the cub scouts we went out uh we were on the boat for a, a birthday party with one of the cub scouts out here so that was, that was kind of my first introduction to the boat that was kind of cool as a, like a third or fourth grader that i was to have your name on a boat so but uh you know the the connection and the the service that the boat and the, the Cleveland fire department has done for this city is phenomenal we thank you for allowing us to be part of part of your mission thank you Now we move on to a new chapter in the Cleveland Division of Fire. As we place in service a tool that will take us forward into a rich future of service to this community. Similar to the Celebrezzi, we desire to choose a namesake that embodied the determined spirit that all firefighters bring to bear on the challenges that we face daily. We also, want, we, we also began to have several back and forth discussions with various recommendations 
with various recommendations and really couldn't come to a conclusion until assistant directors of public safety, Jakima Dye, made a recommendation that stopped all further conversation. She recommended Garrett A. Morgan. Upon the recommendation, it was instantly recognized that that was the right choice. I was familiar with the broad strokes of the Morgan legacy, but many of the details I did not know. Upon research, I found a lifetime of service, dedication to improving the state of his fellow citizens. I found strong ties to the city of Cleveland. I found a direct tie to our daily operations in that Garrett A. Morgan was the inventor of the precursor to our modern day self-contained breathing apparatus. That is the tool that you'll see firefighters making entry into structure fires to breathe fresh air. Garrett A. Morgan used his version to rescue individuals in a mining collapse under Lake Erie, which would have been impossible at that time without that device. Today, we use the modern day version to save citizens' lives from the ravages of fire. More importantly, it saves our lives each and every time we use it. There would be no modern day fire service without the breathing apparatus invented by Garrett Morgan right here on the shores of Cleveland. So we commission the Division of Fire's new addition as the Garrett A. Morgan and take the responsibility of carrying the Morgan legacy forward with honor and courage and look back upon a lifetime of service well lived. In appreciation to the Morgan family for allowing us to borrow their family's namesake for a short time, I would like to present this small token of appreciation, this collage put together by the Department of Public Safety showing Garrett H. Morgan's legacy. If you'd like to come up and take a picture. At this time, I direct the crew of the Anthony J. Celebrezzi to come about and secure the Celebrezzi for decommissioning, after which they are directed to disembark. Now I ask the captain of the Garrett A. Morgan to step forward. <laughs> Sir, I have it in command from the mayor of the city of Cleveland and the chief director of public safety to direct you to proceed with all due speed on board the boat Garrett A. Morgan lying at Cleveland Port. It is required that no time be lost in carrying the boat into local waters, taking on board her crew, equipment, and provisions, and, prepare, and preparing her in every respect for service. It is the mayor's express orders that you employ the most vigorous exertions to accomplish these several objects and to put your boat as speedily as possible in condition to sail at the shortest notice. Do you willingly accept this charge? Yes, sir. At this point, Captain, board your crew. Yes, sir, thank you. With that, as chief of the Cleveland Division of Fire, I declare the boat Garrett A. Morgan commissioned for service to the citizens and visitors of the city of Cleveland. Thank you, chief. This concludes our service. We'll have one more tune from the band. <laughs> 